But I don't know one thing though Bitches they come they go Saturday do Sunday Monday Monday do Sunday Yo What's going on YouTube? What's shaking? What's cracking? What up though? What's good with y'all man? So It's Sunday And uh just got done recording the pod with Spiff, of course, um, Solo, and my nigga Rezo. And shit, man, this is kind of like, you know, my way back home and shit. And I decided, actually, I thought about this shit earlier today, earlier um, this afternoon or whatever. I don't know, I just got the thought in my head. I'm like, damn, I just need to experience. Well, I need to record my experience of... Y'all Y'all see the title to this shit of me going through, like, the whole process of, you know, marriage and, you know, the, the, the proposal and just everything that goes in, you know, everything that goes with, you know proposals and shit you know buying rings uh going to the jury store picking some picking some shit out and all that type of shit man and i just wanted to give y'all you know you know look like a little background you know and also you know just showing y'all you know the whole process of doing so because yesterday um saturday I had, uh, and what's today? I don't even know what today is. I got my phone recording and shit. I think, what, I don't know even, it's what, March something? I don't know. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, who knows? But yesterday, Saturday, man. What the fuck? Niggas driving crazy. But yeah, yesterday, Saturday, man, I went up to, um, went up to a few jewelry stores and, you know, you know, took a took a look at some rings, bro. Now, now, mind you, I've done this before, um, because I thought about you know proposing to you know my child's mother, you know, like for her birthday, which was back in October, you know, last year or whatever. And at that moment, you know, a nigga, a nigga pockets wasn't like all the way right you know i was still trying to you know you know maintain you know my bills and other bills and you know just trying to make sure that my pockets was in order before i did this because you know i had like a certain number in my head that i wanted to spend and shit and then what i saw you know for for what i was trying to spend that shit was just like not up to par you feel me and it's funny because i know you know she been looking forward to it as far as like i mean because niggas is getting old you feel me you know you know niggas getting old we ain't getting no younger you feel me and i know she want to go through the whole marriage and and everything and because that's what that's what girls want that's you know that's what they dream to you know to be one day as a wife and everything but carrying on man like i remember you know we were at home you know chilling like sitting on the couch just like maybe watching tv you know just you know just chilling that type shit you feel me and i think it might have been either like maybe a commercial on tv or it might have been like a newspaper type of like little you know advertisement or whatever they was like advertising like some rings and shit and in the and in an advertisement it had like I think it was like a ring for like fifteen hundred or some some cheap shit or whatever. Not saying that fifteen hundred is cheap, you know. I'm just you know I'm just saying, you know, not trying to you know downplay anybody ring or whatever. Neither here nor there. But she has looked and showed me a ring. She's like, "Oh, look at this ring. This is so nice." This down the third. And in my head, I'm like, "Yeah, fifteen hundred is you know, I could do fifteen hundred, but." 
you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shoot for, I'm a shoot for a little, you know, something a little bit more steep than that, you feel me? Because I could do 1500 that ain't shit. And so, you know, fast forward, I wind up going to, you know, still talking about the past or whatever. Like this might have been like uh, maybe a month or two before her birthday. I had went up to like Kate Jewelers and Zales and shit like that, and and I had told them a certain number or whatever what I wanted to spend or whatever, and they showed me a few, you know, a few things, and I'm like, man, like, shit, nigga, this is, <laughs> you know, for what I'm trying to spend, it it really don't look like shit. You feel me? And so, at that moment, I was like, well, damn. Because, like I said, man, my pockets wasn't, you know, as healthy. But, you know, a nigga was like, fuck it. I'm going to just grind up a little bit more so I can so I can make sure I get to get this woman the ring that she deserved. You feel me? And so, like, like, we always, like, she will always mention that shit. And I would always tell her, like, yo, like. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you get the ring that I, you know, deserve that you should have because, you know, when I'm going to do something, I'm going to try to do it right the first time. Like, I ain't going to, I ain't going to, you know, sit up here and get you some starter shit. I want to make sure that, you know, coming out the gate, you got some, you know, you got some fly shit, you feel me? Or whatever. But carrying on, man, like I said, like I had stopped and looked at a few things and I was like, damn, man, that shit don't look like shit. So I was like, fuck, I kind of. I kind of got past that idea of, of, you know, giving her a ring on her birthday only because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had the funds and available to make sure that she got, you know, get something that, that would just, you know, take her breath away, you feel me? And so, you know, recently, you know, I, I've, you know, came across, you know, a little hustle, whatever, you know got my bread right you feel me and, and you know and and, and 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 probably in one of the best positions of you know my life that i've been in a long time you feel me you know i'm 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 getting back to that to that to that long sleeve meat you feel me that money making meat you feel me i'm getting back to that one bag and like I said, Saturday, man, I, I stopped at a, you know, at a, at a jewelry store and, and I looked at some rings and shout out to my dog, Lewis. You know, he definitely, you know, showed me some things, gave me some good numbers on some things. And, and I'm about to, I'm about to go forward, man. I'm about to go ahead and, you know, put that, you know, put that purchase down. They can spend them big bands, you feel me? Because, man, it's only right, man. It's, it's only right, man. I gotta, I gotta make this woman an honest woman, man. You know, she, she had my son, man. You know, we've been, we've been doing this for, for years now, and it's, it's only right that I, you know, do what I gotta do to, you know, make her, you know, my wife and shit. You feel me? And the only thing that I'm kind of like pissed off and mad at myself about is, is that, that it took this long you feel me because as a father and i'm sure as a mother and you know as parents and shit you know i did not realize how you know finances and everything come into play and shit because you know in my head you know before my son was born it's just like all right, all I got to do is just, like, really just take care and, you know, take care of my bills and things of such. But when you become a parent and, and trying to figure out life and everything like that, like, you don't realize how, you know, groceries and clothes and, you know, just anything, even if it's just, you know, making sure that you, you know, take your, take your lady out on a nice, like, date, you know, here and there, like, how money come into play and shit so it's like money i thought i had which is always just go towards you know the family and shit so money i thought i could save is always going out you know I, I wasn't you know able to to save enough to make sure that i can you know you know get the things that you know my lady wants you feel me but like i said man like i'm in a better position today to you know to make sure i get my get my lady and my family what they want and so, yeah, man, 
what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm gonna, you know, take y'all through the process and everything and such. And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that I, I don't want to put this video out just yet. I think I'm going to just put this shit together um, and just make one long video so y'all can see, like, the whole process of me just going through this shit. I'm going to take y'all through, you know, purchasing the shit, uh, setting up the proposal, and hopefully we can, you know, get her reaction with this shit, dog. Uh, Y'all can see me to grow up on this motherfucker, you feel me? That way. But, yeah, man. Shit, matter. I haven't even told, like, anybody that I've, you know, really been doing this. The only person I, I told was probably Spiff. Like, I had told him, like, you know, I was thinking about, you know, proposing to her, like, on her birthday or whatever. And, you know, this and the third, but... I ain't telling, like, the whole ins and outs of that shit. It's just, like, you know, whatever. It just kind of gave him some ideas. And excuse me, but... Yeah, man. We gonna see, though. We gonna see. I'm gonna show y'all, niggas. It's about time, a nigga. You know, put on this big boy drawers. You feel me? Take y'all through it. But, yeah, man. I think, uh... I'm kind of rambling on at this point, but... I think, uh next well this coming week because today is sunday i think i'm gonna just go up there saturday this coming saturday talk to talk to my guy lewis go ahead and cop that bitch and walk out the store with it so y'all see it on the next clip all right all right be right back nigga that way all right y'all man it's saturday Nigga. A nigga still kind of tired, I ain't gonna lie. But, that ain't what y'all came here to see, you feel me? Um, shit, right now, I'm on my way to uh, go see my guy Lewis. You know, up there at the, at the jewelry store. You feel me? And, uh, yeah, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna grab one of them rings today, cuz. You feel me? So, yup, yup. That's what we on our way to, so. Yeah. Alright, nigga. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. So. Um, I was gonna take y'all into the, um, into the jury store with me. But, you know, of course, you know, niggas ain't letting you record in that bitch for real, for real. But, that's neither here nor there. But, shout out to my nigga Lewis, man. He got me together, man. Because, I don't know if I... I don't know if I already mentioned this in the um in the other clip before, but I had saw um a particular ring that I that I was gonna buy anyway, um last week or whatever. And uh fortunately that motherfucker was still there when I got there today. So you know, I'm gonna bring it out so y'all can see this motherfucker, you feel me? Like you see that? I had show Spiff. He was talking about nigga. Is that a Cartier box? Like, no, nah, nigga. It looked like it though. But let's need to hear another there. Like, you see that? Y'all see it? Cool. You ready? Y'all niggas ready? Open this motherfucker up. Excuse my nails and shit. See that motherfucker? See that bitch? Damn. Shout out to my guys at Precision Jewelers, nigga. Shout out to Lewis, man. He got me together. Yep. Yep, man. So, yeah, man. I did that. Yeah, man. You know, it was time, man. You know, nigga gotta grow up, man. Gotta do, gotta do big dog shit, you feel me? You know? Um... You know, I see myself being with, you know, with the lady, you know, for, you know, forever, for a long time, man. So, you know, why, you know, why keep procrastinating, you know, and just, and just do that shit, you feel me? But yeah, man. 
did that because and now I just got to figure out like at this point you know how I'm gonna do it man should I be like you know oh man should I, should I do the Gucci man and be like like put that bitch on you feel me y'all ever seen you know uh Gucci when he uh proposed to, to Keisha Kaor or whatever the hell her name is you know they was at the uh they was at the motherfucking Hawks game you know, big jumbo trying shit. My nigga stood up and was like, go ahead, put that motherfucker on. Or, you know, sure nigga get down on one knee and be like, yeah, you feel me? Go uh, ahead, yeah, do that, you feel me? Uh, or should I be, you know, should I just throw the bitch at her and you feel me? Be like, hey, man, catch this. Think fast, huh? You feel me? I don't know, man. I don't know. I got I to gotta do some, I got to do some, like, some, you know, some real, some real sweet shit, you feel me? I got to... Yeah, gotta make sure I do something like that, you feel me? But yeah, man, I don't know, man. I was talking to, I was talking to some family, you know, earlier. Shout out to my cousins and shit. And, uh, you know, they was asking me when and shit. I was like, I had a few, I had a few dates in mind. You know, I definitely thought about, you know, giving it to her on Mother's Day. You feel me? Um, I definitely thought about giving it to her in April. Because that's actually like, you know, like our anniversary for real, for real. And then at the same time, I feel like I just want to get this bitch to her like today. You feel me? But I want to make sure that this shit is special. You feel me? Yeah, man. I got to I got to I got to plan some shit out, make sure it's special and uh, do all of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But hell yeah, man. We up, nigga. We did some big dog shit today, man. A little motherfucker cost me an arm and a fucking leg, dog. But yeah, man. This year, nigga. That baby mama shit is played out, my baby. We gotta do big dog shit. Until next time, nigga. They comments, see the exchanges and shit. He got a little holes in the tuck. But one, it's alarming because uh -huh. for one, they pages is open. You feel me? I don't trust them. You, feel me? <laughs> you don't trust bitches with their page open? Hell no. No, those are the ones that, that think highly of themselves. No, fuck no. They like, they want to be seen type they shit. They still turdies, but they okay for my dog, and I'm happy for it. You facts, 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 facts. They facts. all right for my dog. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean we ain't got to get too deep into what you talking about. That's a that's a different subject for a different day. But nigga, I'm I'm, I'm doing a um like I'm about to put together like some some shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to get kind of like get your input on some things, man. Because okay. I told you what I was about to do, right? As far as like the whole proposal shit, this and the third, right? Mm -hmm. So basically what I did was like prior to me purchasing this shit, uh -huh. the day of me purchasing that shit, and just kinda like, you know, I'm about to put together like a like a video type of thing. Okay. I already got like five parts of this shit already. My nigga. Okay, you come on man. Okay. Yeah, I already got like like maybe I I'm kinda I may be over exaggerated. This might be the fifth part. It might be third or fourth. Yeah. Some 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 in that ballpark. Some, I mean, shit, as long as I'm top five, I feel Okay. Yeah, you, you in this me? bitch, man. Top five, Listen, top five. don't need other faces in this motherfucker's mind. Okay, well, shit. Man. <laughs> That's like two. I'm top two. Yeah. Right. You ain't number two, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. Like, because I ain't, I ain't tell the people as far as, because, you know, as a, as a single man yourself, man, mm -hmm. have you ever thought about, like, this particular day or, you know, when that day will come, whereas you got to, you know, step up and, like, do, like, that grown man type of shit, though? I mean, I've thought about it before, but it's kind of like for me, bro. Like, I gotta see somebody else go through this shit before I do it, cause I gotta. Yeah, know you gotta have a you gotta have a blueprint. It, you feel me? Yeah. Like it was once upon a time I was like leaning and gravitating towards doing that. You feel me? But I could see that. I kind of was like, "Hey, you can edit this out," but. I'm kind of like, I'm not nah, I don't want to do this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna edit this. You know, I don't edit. But I was like, we, I was, we like, I was, 
young as fuck. I was like probably like 23, 24 at the yeah. time, you feel me? But, I mean, shit, when that day comes for me, I think I'll be ready, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And then I always need to have a test dummy to see how that shit gonna go. And I'm so, that test dummy. We got you. You're the first <laughs> Indian running down the cliff, you feel me? Hey, man, it ready takes somebody. Hey, listen, this is Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. shit, like, after after I purchased this shit, right, you know, I got on here, I kind of like, you know, talked a little bit about how I would do it and whatnot. But at the same time, too, I had to like, you know, got to do the the right way. You feel me? Yeah. I had to go, you know, you know, check with her moms and make sure like it was oh, OK. Oh, you asked for permission. Yeah, you know, oh, I feel like. I feel like, you know, you got to do that. You got to do that. You, you know, it's almost, out here, I can't just be saying. like dropping this shit on motherfuckers. She might be like, oh, no, I really I fuck with doggy bomb. Fuck with this nigga. That nigga stank. You know? <laughs> Man, you feel me though? But that's, that's what you're supposed to do though, for real. Yeah. I feel like, you know, it's an unspoken rule, you feel me? Yeah. You got to get the, the, get the, the okay, the, yeah. The, the, the blessing, that's what yeah, they call absolutely, it. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So, oh, nigga, it's whole st- ain't no half stepping over. Listen, there. because the day that I got it, mm-hmm. I was actually gonna reach out to her like that day to do it, mm-hmm. but I felt like at that moment, I, w- I would rather do that shit like face to face. You feel me? Right. Like I could have easily, like I could have easily like called her up, text her, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever. But I wanted to, you know, to tell her like face to face, like you know. You know, is this I right? you you fuck with this type of shit? You feel me? Yeah, that's the way you. That's some real OG. You was raised right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so nigga, I had a uh, I had an opportunity because you know one day you know because you know like I like I've been doing for like the last couple of weeks or whatever mm-hmm. is you know Friday is me and a lady day to kind of like you know fuck around do whatever the fuck we want to do right. get away from the baby and shit. Mm-hmm. So I had a a moment to whereas you know I was dropping Michi off. Mm-hmm. At her mom's house or whatever, and I was like, "Yo, I want to show you something real quick." Pull that mo- that bad motherfucker out my pocket. And I'm like, "What you think of that?" You know, "What you think of that?" She was like, "Oh my god!" You know, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, "You know, I just want to get your blessing real quick." She was like, "Yeah, me and Michi will definitely love that." You know, type <laughs> shit. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. So I did that or whatever. Like I told her, like, sure. like it was gonna be that night because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna plan and shit. Right. But. Yeah. I mean, do you think, like, do you ever in the back of your head getting a blessing? Do you think information to get leaked? Like, you think? Most trade? definitely. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm glad, <laughs> and I'm glad you brought that up, sir. I'm glad you brought that up, dog. Because, okay. mind you, like, my hiding spot is my dirty clothes. <laughs> Genius, though. It's like at the bottom of my, like, my dirty clothes. Genius. You How? always was a smart nigga, though. Come on, man. I got promoted. <laughs> but at the same time, too, though, Swift Lord is, you know me, man. Right. You know, I have I have shit like positioned in a certain way. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I feel like she might have seen it already. You can always tell when your shit is like off. It's, it's off. No matter how like junky it may be yeah. at a certain time. Like you can tell when somebody else been rummaging to your yeah. shit. And I, and I could be tripping. Mm-hmm. Like I could be tripping. Or but, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she did see it already. But I have a feeling like she have an idea. You okay, feel me? She got an idea. You feel me? I think her mama then probably didn't yeah. probably didn't told her something or probably maybe hinted around that shit. You feel me? I mean, you still gotta do what you gotta do. The yeah. element of surprise is everything. Because afterwards, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, she just been like randomly, like just kind of like bringing up like, yeah, we should go to Vegas or we should go to Chicago for a few days. Mm. Because I have a feeling like she know that I don't have no idea on how to fucking do this shit for real. Right. So she trying to... Trying to... You, that's what a good woman do. You yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she push you in the right direction. You feel me? Thanks. So, I mean, but... Wait, do you got any ideas? Absolutely or, not, sir. You know, like, you ain't... <laughs> like, I've been doing my Googles. Yeah. Like... They can't do that shit. Like, you know, I, you know, I go on Google and be like, yeah, you feel me? Go to, like, the top proposal type... You know, like destinations, destinations, and, and like ideas and okay. such. But like all them bitches, like mad corny. You feel me? Yeah, like what Vegas, LA, fucking. Like I, like I told niggas, I might just do the Gucci man to be like, bitch here. <laughs> you feel me? Hamptons or some shit like that. Because I mean, I, I could easily just be like, all right, let's let's take a trip somewhere. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And just it just like. Yeah, that's too predictable. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it's too predictable. Too, too predictable. Like I'd rather be like. 
I just wake up one morning and be like, here, slip this on, little freaky. I always little tell freaky, you. freaky. I always tell you What's that, that scene 232. And that is, excuse me, Miss Jay Z. Love, let's go. Half on the, the sun. Timestamp 232. Yeah. When they eating breakfast, breakfast in bed, but my nigga Jay Z rich as fuck. Yeah, that's a fact. So they bring them the little silver plates with the, the shit that you take off the top and yeah. they just rain like boom, you feel me? I always like that. The subtle. The subtleness, but I I don't like go around seeing niggas propose to women like every day. So that's like the that, only memory I got of that, I think. I that's something I probably would have to maybe kind of like plan ahead of time and shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's like maybe maybe if we had like a like a little nice little five star hotel and shit, and mm-hmm. we'd be like, baby, you know, let's let's order like some breakfast in bed, mm-hmm. and you know, to have the bill boy come through, you know, with the platter and shit, mm-hmm. you know, and it's already arranged, it's already up under there, mm-hmm. and you know, nice little message, you know, will you marry me and shit, you know, with the ring and shit, like, mm-hmm. hey. You know what time it is, type yeah, shit. Boom, boom, boom. Like, like that shit would be fire, but I like that. I like yeah, that. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna still figure that shit out I mean, though. It gotta be something. I don't fucking know. You talking to the wrong nigga about this type of shit? But yeah. Whatever you do, shit, just do that shit, man. Just just do it, bro. You can't overthink mm-hmm. it, bro. Like you feel me? You want to be special and memorable, but at the same time, nigga, don't be pussy. Because you know I'm a nigga around. at the end of the day. You feel me? Don't be pussy putting around about that shit. You feel it's me? like like I I have plans on doing this shit like within the next like few weeks. You feel okay. me? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Damn, I don't know, bro. Like you gonna figure something out? You smart guy. Keep Literally your heart special. three stacks. I mean. <laughs> It's done. I already knew you was done for, bro. Like a long time ago. Like a long, long time ago. Yeah. Like way back in the day. Like, was it's twenty twenty one? Yeah, roughly. <laughs> Damn. So what we talking like two thirteen, fourteen, or a little bit later? I don't know. I was a whore back then. Yeah, I knew you was done for. Like around that time, whatever time that was, I kind of knew you was done for. Like. Mm-hmm. Maybe that year or like, like middle of that next year. I knew you was like a oh, fucking goner, bro. But you, my man, you fucking goners. A hundred and thirty-five percent. I'm happy for you, bro. Appreciate like, it, gang. Somebody got to do that shit. You feel me? Yeah. I think you got you a good lady for sure, man. I love my guy, son. You feel me? That's my young dog. Oh yeah, appreciate I can't wait you, he man. Get grown. Dropping so them gifts really off. Take him, uh, take him to go party. Yeah. Or maybe like not even eighteen. Like that nigga made me put 16. that car track together <laughs> as soon as we opened that bitch. I mean, shit. Nigga, yeah, it's fucking, yeah. it's, it's it's stepping fucking Hot cars. Wheels everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> stepping on cars for a good yeah. six months. Nigga. No cap. But I appreciate it though, my nigga. Yeah. I appreciate you being the the only person on this bitch besides myself. It's probably gonna be like that anyway. No, it's it's really just gonna be just me and you probably. Oh shit, then fuck it. Like once I put these clips together and shit, it's probably gonna be like an hour long. I ain't gonna lie, cause I didn't probably consistent with this shit. Hmm, kinda, yeah, Yeah, kinda, cause like the first part was maybe about you know a couple weeks ago. Okay. And that shit was like twenty minutes long, and I was just kind of like talking about myself, and then the other part's been. Cause I tried to record this shit in a jury store, but you know them mm-hmm. niggas they ain't they ain't really fucking with that yeah, type of shit. Like, oh, get the fuck out! Yeah. you got a hundred thousand. Yeah, but once 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 they seen what I was fucking with, they were like, ah, they were like, all right, all right, get the fuck out. But still, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nigga. Yeah. I mean, fuck okay, I don't want to see the the uh, the director's cut before you know. Oh, yeah. It's out to the masses, you feel me? You know, I'm, I'm still learning on how to, like, edit and shit. So, okay. you know, shout out to iMovie and all that. Man, shout out to iMovie. Nigga, and I got a Adobe Premiere Rush and Ooh. shit. Okay. On my phone, at least. I ain't, you know. I mean, you ain't. Yeah, I, I, I'm rambling and shit. But, yeah, nigga, you already know what time it is. You said we about to record and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, good potty pot and shit. Right. Yep. yep. All right, we out. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Let me... Back about this bitch like I'm putting on a jacket, you figure deal, my boy. Gang guys. Make sure I'm hitting the white ladies and shit, you see. You feel me, boy? Oh, I see you, Grandma. Oh, go ahead, love. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. 
All right, man. And I'm back again, back again, back again. Um. Yeah, man. Yes, 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 yes. So, I think it's been since my, since like the last time I, I recorded something pertaining to um, the proposal and buying the ring and sitting down with Spiff. I think it's been probably like, you know, a couple weeks. Let me put on my seatbelt. Uh, so that shit don't be beeping all on y'all. My. On my, on my baby, my people, you feel me? But yeah, man, it's been like a couple of weeks since I done tapped in with y'all, man, because honestly, you know, during this time, man, I've been trying to like figure, figure out how to do like the whole proposal and everything and trying to figure out the date in which I wanted to do it and all of that. But I'm not, I can't remember if I even talked about this shit on the last, like, you know, episode or or in the previous ones but you know I decided I'm like yo I'm gonna just do this shit on you know on our anniversary you feel me I know I know it seems kind of like you know cliche or seem kind of like you know like oh duh no duh you would do it on the anniversary type shit but I just felt like that was like just the perfect time for for me to, you know, ask her to, you know, to marry me and shit, you feel me? And within the last few weeks, of course, you know, I, you know, been talking to Spiff and, you know, I've been doing my Googles and trying to figure out, like, you know, real, like, slick ways to, like, really do it and shit. And, you know, the ideas that I've come across, it just been, like, kind of, like, whack. You know, the whole put the motherfucking uh ring in the in the wine glass and you know you make a toast and it's like in the glass uh, all right whatever like that that shit kind of whack and then at the same time too i thought about like yeah maybe i should do it like at a restaurant you know you feel me on um, like one of our like little date nights you feel me but at the same time too i'm like i'm kind of skeptical you know this shit cost me a lot of papes it cost me a lot of paper. It cost me a lot of papers, you feel me? And I'm like, shit, what if I, you know, get a ring to, you know, somebody at the restaurant and they lose it or somebody try to duff my shit? It's going to be issues. And then I thought about it, man, the other day, man. Um, Me and Spiff and Solo, man, we just so happened to be walking and through Birmingham on our way to Revive matter of fact and so i saw it i saw it you know the the birmingham theater you know you can you know pretty much like rent out the marquee you feel me it's right there downtown birmingham you know a place that you know you know me and the lady you know we've been out there before you know went on expensive dinner dates eating wagyu beef and all that gangster shit, you feel me? And so I went ahead and inquired, man. I went ahead and inquired. You know, I reached out to the people that own the, the building and see how much it would be to, to, to ask to ask my lady, you know, would she marry me? And you know, they gave me they, you know, they gave me a solid number. You know, I told Spiff, you know, you know, if, if it surpassed this number, then fuck that. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board. However, they gave me a solid ass number. So I went in ahead and did that shit. Do you feel me? Matter of fact, Meech, insert the photo now. Alright, so hopefully y'all niggas should see that shit right now, you feel me? Well, y'all should have saw it, you know, back then, you feel me? Whatever. But yeah, man, I think I'm just gonna just tell her to get the fuck up, let's go, see a man about a cow, and 
I'm gonna be like, oh, look at that. What, what you, what, what you, what you see up there, man? You, you see some? Don't doesn't doesn't your name up there? Don't that look familiar? You know what you trying to do? You feel me? And, you know, and get down on one knee and uh, do what I gotta do. You feel me? The crazy shit is, man. It was like, you know, talking to like my old man and shit, and he like, yeah, you know, I wanna. You know, I, w- I will hope that you will do that shit, you know, while all the family is involved. And, you know, I want to be there and everybody want to take pictures. I'm like, yo, no, nah, this ain't even that type of party, my boy. This ain't even that type of party, man. You know, I feel like, you know, this, you know, step should be me and her, you know. Just to show, like, hey, baby, we in this together, man. Fuck everybody else, man. But, you know, we in this together, man. This ain't for everybody. This is for us. You know, I really want to just do this shit. Honestly, just me, her. And that's it, man. I don't give a fuck about, you know, putting on, you know, a show and making a whole gathering and whatever. Whoop-de-whoop. You know, whatever happens afterwards, you know, whether family want to, you know, have a party or whatever. That shit, that shit can happen down the line man but i don't give a fuck about that i just want to show you know my lady you know how much she means to me and just show the world like shit you know this what we doing you feel me everybody down there in birmingham can see like yo that guy meech man he's serious man what you gonna do rock you feel me so yeah man so that's what we doing man the the kind of fucked up shit is is that um i haven't thought about anything to do afterwards so i don't know nigga that's my first time doing this shit this is kind of like my first day out here cuz so yeah (laughs) but um i guess uh yeah tap in with y'all afterwards all right nigga i'm out there we go man yo yeah, I right. on my Y and J shit. You feel me? All I wanted was uh, <laughs> remember, remember we used to do, uh record the pods like this, man. Just in the whip. You I'm feel me? Beginnings, man. Come on, man. I'm Come on, man. We had to take it back one time, man. Mm-hmm. I I wanted you here to kind of like you know be the what well, is gonna be like the last video of like my little proposal, you know, mm-hmm. video and shit. You feel me? You're right. And so I was like, well, fuck it, man. I'd rather, I'd rather sit down here with, with my dog, man. Just kind of, like, go through it and just kind of, you know. As you a, should. Yeah, had a conclusion to this shit, you feel me? Okay, so give me the breakdown, man. I kind of already know, but just yeah. so we could get, you know, get this on, on video, man. Like, yeah. what was your whole approach? What was your steez, man? How did you ask? How did you set it up, man? Give me all the details. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this, man, yeah. is... It's like I, I've said on these on these episodes before. It's like, nigga, this kind of like my first time out here, cause you feel me. This kind of like my first time out here. You know, you feel me. You know, and and I and I try, you know, to do something that was one, you know, thoughtful, mm-hmm. two, spontaneous. You right. know, mm-hmm. something that ain't, you know, just kind of like, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Just like completely, just obvious. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Mm-hmm. So, just kind of like going through it. Like I'd have told the people before. I remember when we was uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. What was that last week? Yep, last week. Yep, last week. We was out there in Birmingham on our way to uh revive. Mm-hmm. And we saw, you know, the 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 facility, the building, the little marquee, the little me? marquee, and I was like, hmm. Mm. How much for that? You did, but I thought you was bullshitting at first, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? I I don't know. I just thought you was. I thought you was gonna inquire about it and mm-hmm. then maybe like look for more options to see like what you could do. Yeah. But my nigga was like, no. My nigga was like, no. Nah, fuck that. We about to do this. Yeah, shit we right doing here. that. We doing that. We doing that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, I I definitely I inquired, man. I sent a, you know, strongly worded email. Mm-hmm. Um how much y'all niggas charging for? Yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And then my nigga Tim, I think his name was Tim Queen. Okay. Tim Queen hit me, it was like, yo, 
you know. We we really we really only do <laughs> motherfucking private uh uh showings here. However, you know, I I let you get this shit for this particular number. Right. We ain't got to talk about numbers right now. <laughs> we ain't got to talk about that shit right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's do that. And then my next thing was how the fuck I'm going to get her out here, man. You feel mm. me? Okay. And um I mean, you really could just be like, "Come on, we about to go somewhere real quick. Put your, put your, yeah. put your good pants on and shit." And that was kind of like how <laughs> it was. You, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I did that shit, and I had a particular date in mind, which was the twenty first. Okay. You feel me? Because that was kind of like the day, you know, many many years ago. It's our anniversary. You feel me? Yeah. She was like, what are we doing? We kind of like go together now. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I did that shit. And I got up that 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 Wednesday morning, the 21st. I'm like, damn, should I just like tell her to just meet me here? Mm-hmm. Or should I just like send her like the, the, uh, the, the, the text, lo- the location, location, be like, pull up, you mm-hmm. feel me? Or how can I, how can I play it? Mm-hmm. And so I was just like, man, fuck it, dog. It's right around the corner from Toast. Right. Let you know. Let me just take my family out to breakfast, man. Okay, a little brunch. Yeah. So I got up that mm-hmm. morning. You feel me? You know, got myself together. Mm-hmm. You know, by the time I did that, she was up. I was like, hey, put on some clothes real quick. We about to go get some breakfast and shit as a family. You feel me? She's like, what? You ain't got to go to work? I'm like, nah, I took the day off. Even though I had already planned on taking the day off anyway. <laughs> anyway, you feel me? Day off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, mm-hmm. you know, did that, man. You know, we went out mm-hmm. to toast and, and everything. And I ain't going to lie, man. My stomach was like, be jizzled, nigga. <laughs> bubble gut. That so, like you had the shit. I, I, de- I definitely had to feel like I had the shit, you mm-hmm. feel me? But... Or you could have pulled the Willie Beam in and just Earl real yeah, quick. Yeah, if I would have, if I got a, a a good <laughs> fart or Earl, man, I would have been streaky. I feel you feel it. me? I feel but it. after we uh, after we had breakfast and shit, you feel me? We went back to the to the whip, mm-hmm. and I slid down that way, you know, towards that area. You feel me? And I was like, I just pulled over. I was mm-hmm. like, jumped out the car, grabbed Michi, mm-hmm. and I was like, get out real quick. What she was saying when she like, what, get out. What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? about? What, what, what are we doing? What's wrong? You feel me? <laughs> yeah, that's all the damn questions. You yeah. feel me? And so, you know, we got out the motherfucking car. And as we walk in, you know, walking towards the front of the building, she see it. And she like, oh, my God. You feel me? Like, you know, <laughs> the wig fly off and everything. You feel me? Lost you know, her shit real you quick. You know, lost her shit real quick. Uh-huh. You know, she run back. You know how, you know yeah. how. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, shit, you know, what you trying to do, Rocky, you feel me? Yeah. So I sit up there, I got down, because at first I was going to do the Gucci, man, I ain't going to lie. Niggas ain't getting enough money for the I Gucci. Ain't, I ain't really getting enough money for that. I was going to be like, yeah, you feel me, what yeah. you trying to do? But I was I got down on that one knee like a, like a real gentleman would, you feel mm-hmm. me? And I'm like, yo, I said, mm-hmm. you know, I said her name, and mm-hmm. I was like, what you trying to do? You Man, you trying to marry me or something? You trying to be my wife? What you trying to do? She was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was like, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I slid that bad motherfucker on her, you Ooh, know. Was it bling blinging Man, in the light? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that shit was that blinging in the light. That motherfucker was bling blow. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker was like bling blow. You oh, feel yeah. me? Yeah, I feel it though. And so just so happened, we just so happened to be like in front of like a chase building and, mm-hmm. and one of the worker guys mm-hmm. was like, you know, in the window, like banging on the window. Like, <laughs> Man, I, see I see you. I see you. That I shit. see you. My nigga, you know, throwing me all types of gang signs and emojis and shit, mm-hmm. you know, via via the window and shit. Mm-hmm. Then dog came out. He's like, man, dog, I man, that shit is beautiful, dog. Can I take y'all a picture and shit? Okay. So we took a little little photo, you mm-hmm. know, me, her, and the baby and mm-hmm. shit, right in front of the sign. Bye, y'all. You That's a player. That's pimp. I love the reaction. Yeah. I think the the cherry on top is my man's that saw that shit from a distance and came mm-hmm. out to support. That really hyped that like, shit up even and more. And he was like, man, I'm a DJ, man. If you need a DJ here, <laughs> take my car, too. He had to slide the business. Yeah, you, know, you, got you gotta do what you gotta do. But still, though, it don't matter. Yeah, you that's, how you, that's how you make connects, networking and shit. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel like that shit went as perfect as it should, though. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like, you know, I would rather it would just me and her. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course, Michi was there. I would rather it had just been us personally, mm -hmm. you know, with our son and everything. Because, mm -hmm. you know, how my pops and, uh, you know, people was like, man, what y'all, what you gonna do, man? Well, you should bring family around, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. I'm like, nah, that ain't even really my style for real. Right. You feel me? Yeah. I would rather this shit just be personal. Just the family. You do the direct family. Yeah, absolutely. Me? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So. Because I feel like shit, you know, this is this is me and this a me and her type of thing. Yeah, exactly. This ain't for everybody, you feel me? We could do something later. Y'all gonna be at the wedding, all the parties and shit mm -hmm. like that, getting on my damn nerves and shit anyway. So just facts, let me facts, have this facts. moment type shit. You Cause even me? even she showed me like a message that was like, you know, from one of her friends. She was like, damn, he should have he should have hit me up, you know, so I could be there too. Excuse me. Mm hmm. I know you. <laughs> well, but I don't, I don't know, know you like that. For real? <laughs> no, but no disrespect, but you know, her friends is cool. Yeah. Or whatever. Sure. But yeah, man. I mean, I'm proud of you first and foremost, man. It's been a long time coming. I done seen you go from like future. Big whore. You feel me? Toxic vibes. To your Wale for Lauren, you feel me? To your Will and Jada. <laughs> Red now, table. <laughs> now you like I don't know who got a good r relationship. Mm, now you on your yeah yeah you Jay Z and Beyonce man. My nigga was getting kicked up in the elevator. Hey, that's yeah, another story. That's another, for another story. Day. That's the best comparison I would have made. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, best yeah, way yeah. I can make. But yeah, I'm extremely proud, bro. Like appreciate the gang. I think that's the greatest look for you. You feel me? And mm -hmm. shit. You know, I'm wishing you and your family the best of luck. Wish, wishing y'all well. Um, bachelor party coming soon. Ignit. We about to tear some shit up. Or I'm about to tear some shit up. He gonna be on his best day. Yeah, I'm absolutely. definitely about to tear some shit up. Most definitely. And then, what it is, I'm on all the bridesmaids at the wedding, man. Drunk, open bar. No kizzy, man. You know we talked about it. Did y'all? Yeah, we talked about it. Oh, yeah. Y'all have open, open bar? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> My boy. Come on, I'm drunk as fuck. Yes, sir. You know, my my only thing is, you know, a lot of her friends is kind of tall. I told I told Trey, I was like, you know, my nigga Spiff is like, you know, pretty average, like for mm -hmm. like a man and shit. Yeah, like, but you know, a lot of her friends like tall and shit. But I was like, come on, man, my nigga Spiff take down trees. You know, he a I'm lumberjack. Saying, like a nigga say, like I ain't never climbed a tree before. Come on, now we did that. It is what it is, though. But yeah, man, I can't wait, man. I'm happy for you, man. You Got to get some shit, put it on your registry, all that extra yeah. shit. And then, shit, I should start looking for my motherfucking suit now. As long as I got my suit and tie. But, you know, to keep it a whole bean, just on some all, all seriousness, though. Mm -hmm. Since then, man, and it could just be, you know, the, the pheromones and the hormones and mm -hmm. shit like that or whatever. Whatever the fuck niggas want to classify that shit as. Mm -hmm. But I can honestly say that I feel more complete now. That's what's up. That's a good thing. That, I feel like, you know, it was time for me to do that, you feel me? Like it came around full circle it, type it, shit. Yeah, it, everything's me? starting to make sense now. Okay, okay. You know, that's a good thing though. You feel me? The growth is everything, man. I can't yeah. I can't wait, man, till I find me a little lady, but that shit ain't probably gonna happen for like another five years. But it is what it is, man. Yep. I don't know. That's what it is, man, but I'm trying to think, man. Should I put this shit out in clips or should I just make one long video? Uh, shit, yeah. try to splice up a whole long video and if that shit don't work, just put it in clips. I'm going to just do one long video because I don't long edit. Video. I don't, I don't edit. edit. We'll do half-ass. <laughs> half-ass uh, and then research and edit. research and edits. edits, yeah. Yeah, but Spit Floor, I appreciate you, my guy. You already know it, man. You already know Being that. Being in this motherfucker besides myself, nigga, the only other person in this motherfucker is you. I mean, hey, man, I'm your dog, day one, man. Blood will make us no closer, man. Family. No cap. Family. Man. I don't know you 15 plus. You ain't my man. I can go over to my nigga meet you mama house, shine, shine house, go get me a good chilling load good anytime chill. I'm hungry. You feel me? Come on, now stop it. For real, my boy. Your family, got For real, man. But yeah, man, get ready, man. We doing big shit, you feel me? Yep. Yeah.